I want to give you a little sample of what we are going to do tomorrow in class so you'll be ready and we can do this very quickly. The, the idea tomorrow, we're going to see if we can predict someone's height from the length of his or her foot. So what you're going to do in class is you are going to measure the length of your foot and we're going to get that measurement in centimeters and you're going to do that with your shoe off. Then you're going to measure your height in centimeters and you're going to write your measurements as an ordered pair with your foot length and then your height. What we'll do then is we're going to make what's called a scatter plot and we're going to look and see if there is a pattern. Is there some, is there a correlation between foot length and a person's height? So just to give you an example so you'll be ready for class tomorrow, these are um, 10 students from my AP statistics class. I believe this was from last year and we had gathered some data and so I actually had this. So we're going to take a look and see, um, we're going to plot these points. So when you're ready to do the graph, you would plot 161, comma, 26. So we're going to plot ordered pairs and we're going to see if there's any kind of a relationship. So what we'll do is um, we're going to plot the points and when we do that, you are going to have to decide how you're going to scale your axes. So you can look and see the foot length. We're putting the, oh, you know what? I have this backwards. Sorry about that. We are doing this with foot length. So we would have 26, 161. I didn't take a look here. But we're using the foot length to see if we can predict the height. So we would want to put that in that order. So you'll have to decide how you want to scale your graph for the foot lengths. You can see that the smallest value is 23 from the data that I have. And so we want to kind of spread that data out. So I'm going to, um, I think I will put 20. You can see how I'm scaling this. So every other one, so really by halves. And then I have plenty of room. I'm going to do the little lightning bolt thing to show that I didn't start at zero. And then for the heights, the smallest I have is 159 and the largest is 183. So I think I will do our little lightning bolt thing again. And I'm going to start this with, let's see. All right, so if I take 187, that was my highest, and I'm going to subtract 159, which was my shortest. And I see that I have a range of 28. So if you count along here, if I count by twos, it's going to go pretty well. So I'm going to make this 158. So 160. So 170 would be here. 180. I need to go up here, so I'm just going to be barely off. Here is 186, and I have to go up to 187, so I can squeeze it in there. Now I'm ready to plot some points, so I'm going to start with 26, 161. So when I, I move over to 26, and I'm going to go up till I find 161, which is going to be right in here, and I place a dot. Then I'm going to label one, um, 25, 176. So I'm going to plot that one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, pause this and plot them all because you don't need to be writing all these out. Okay, after plotting all the points, this is what I get when I look at my graph. So let me go ahead and make that so you can see that again. So here's my graph. And now what I want to look at is, is there a relationship? Well, I think you can see that there, you can see kind of a pattern here. 
that as the um, length of the foot gets longer, the height is, lo is taller. And that, you know, shouldn't surprise us. We know that people with bigger feet tend to be taller people. And so we can see this kind of relationship. Well, what we're going to look at now is we're going to pick two points on your graph that you think would best represent a line to describe the data. And we're going to use those points to write an equation. So when you do this, you might find your line. So you're going to get a ruler and you might find your line. Um, maybe the line would look something like this. And when you draw your line, you might find that it doesn't even go through points that were on your graph. So I'm going to put my line maybe Maybe about there. Oh, I think I want to move that a little bit. So you're kind of just making a, an estimate um, when you draw your line. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick two points that your line goes through, and they do not have to be actual points of um, students' heights and foot lengths. So you can pick two other points. I'm going to choose, let me use a different color. I'm going to choose this point right here and this point right here. And my reason for choosing those is because they're corner points that they're um, that on the grid that my line goes through. And I think that this particular line will do a pretty good job of um, describing my set of data. So I need to find the coordinates of those two points. This one is 29.5 comma 186. And this one is 23.5 comma 160. And from there, you have the tools that you would need to know to write the equation of this line. We have two points. And we know when we have two points that we can find the slope. Once we know the slope and we know a point on the line, which we have two of them, we can actually write the equation of the line. So that's going to be your task tomorrow in class. So um, we'll be gathering the data in class. So be prepared to measure your foot length and measure your height. And then to gather that data, to scale your axes, so you'll need to be prepared to do all that so we can do that quickly and then we will use this equation to make some predictions.